So this is Baruch Fleischman here at the Tikkun Elevator Kolel, and this is the shear for the third day of the week of Parshas Yisro. And we find ourselves here, let me see if I can get this in, there we go, on page Mem Bob. Now we've been learning different analyses for the first two days of this week, and we'll see a little bit more today. Different analyses of the face, facial interpretation. Not just facial interpretation, but also using the lines of the face and different permanent structures because the Zohar had said previously that the lines of the face, the wrinkles that ones find, although born with a person can change. But the permanent structures of the face, that we know the the uh, seven different features of your face, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your hair, particularly doesn't change for the time that you're born. They're solid. They're solid. That's one of the rules that we saw over here. Now let's go over here and let's look at, at number three, Ofen Gimel, the third way that we have to interpret the face. So if it's Parshan Kritzim Dom and Don, and this word Kritzim means eyebrows in Aramaic. Be Gavos Einab Nefra, there's the Gamri Zumazuza, they're completely and totally separated. Pesarin, Achronin, Eilin, Bein, Dal, the Dazi, Irin, and then small hairs in between these two separate eyebrows now grow in between them. Vesaro, Seherim, Ketanim, they're small hairs. Nick Nasim Bain Zulazu, they enter between the two sets of eyebrows. Da Nata of the Bukuba uh 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 the Vavu Vasagitade. So a person who has this trait, Zesh Shomer Tabid Sina Gedila the Khaveri, this is a person who has a tremendous amount of hate within him for others. Tov Ihu Babese, Bahavatovhu Bebabe. So this person enjoys his home, and in his house this person is happy. But when he goes out into the world, but he, when he's amongst other people, this person becomes depressed. So using the system that we had had before, and let me just show it to you once again. I know it's up here somewhere. Uh, here we go. It's over here, way over here. Uh, yeah, here it is. Zara, whoops, can't see it there. These six letters that the Zohar had said refers to the the six the vok of Zer Anpen Chesed Gevura Teferes Netzachod Yisod. Now we're over here on number three, and we're reading along. And let me find it back. Let me get back over here. So let's try it again. So if the eyebrows are separated, and small hairs grow in between the separation between the two eyebrows. This person is a person who has tremendous hate within him for other people. This person is happy when he's home. And he's also, uh, he's happy when he's home. But when he goes out into the world, he's always depressed. And he is depressed when he's amongst others. Now, I think we all know these are traits that we have as well. So this person is somewhere in between the concept of Yisod and the concept of Tepharis. Ze Omed Bein Os Tzadik Shebe Yisod, the Bein Os Samach Shebe Tepharis. But Rakok Mishnehem, but at the same time that he's distanced from both of them. Tomim Mamone, he hides his money. Hum Tamen Es Mamono, he hides his money. Lo Boy Li Igulu, he believes Gal Rebbe he doesn't want anybody to know what he's doing with his important things. Enon wrote so this gal she is galamasov. No, he doesn't want anybody to know his business. Comes in evil, this person a miser, who comes in Bamono. Basare Gvil Do Im Do Vasalya. So now let's look at his hairs. For Saaros, Maurovim Zebazes, highs are all hairs are all mixed up one with the neck. But they hang down at the same time. And this person is not sloppy. He he has again separate eyebrows with with hairs growing in between, and his hair hangs down, but it's also tangled and unruly. 
So he says, Eino machshiv es atmo she is lavish karoi, but he himself also, he doesn't dress nice. He doesn't take care of his clothes. My the lavish lo is takein be. So whatever he puts on doesn't look right when it's actually on him. Let's go on. So here's another one. Os dalit, o ofen dalit. Here's another way that we could use another analysis of a style of person that can be looked at through his facial uh, qualities, etc. Ofen dalit. Now the fourth way. Matzche ravava. This is a person with a very big, bold forehead. Adam sheyesh lo metzach gadol. This person has a, a very bold forehead. There are two, he says, uh, what was the first? Three, excuse me. There are three wrinkles on the right side of his head and four on the left. And then there are other two, two other lines that come in between them. Asmolium. So then he says, let me get the words. He said, then two different wrinkles or lines. Niknasas Barocha, they come into the breath, Bain Sir Tutim Asmolim, between those those wrinkles or those lines that are on the left side of this forehead. So he said, Dokad Malil Pashit Mashka de Mitzcha. So when this person starts to starts to speak, Adam Zerkashimbadaba Nipshat O or Shal Mitzko, his the, the the skin of his forehead seems like it's bulging out. He says, And as a result of that, they kind of uh, hide the, uh, yeah, they hide the the lines in his forehead. They're not seen that well. So he, he has, he walks with his head bowed. Ozil. He goes with his head back. This person, as he's walking, he bends his head down. He said, but he's not bending his head because he's a humble person. But rather because of the humility or the lowness, really, of his nature. He sees himself as a very depressed person. He's low. So this person is Yad Yemino Mishamesh is small. And what we actually want is that the left hand, the left side, should serve the right side. But this is a person whose right side serves the left side. And he has a metaphor for it. And he says, Smola Mine Yemina. This person whose left hand is like his right hand. So he's a lefty. Of a smola Mishamesh is Kiyamin. It works the same way as his right hand. A right hand. So so who, uh, who Yad. This is a person who's left-handed. Tadir, at the same time, the person is always depressed. Who tamed ba'atzvays, anina ihu, anina sedas yeshbo. So he has, he has. So he says, uh, it says anina ihu. He's a very sensitive person. Anina sedas yeshbo is a sensitive mind. He he could be easily what? Because because ish caution. This is all I'm telling you that the sensitivity of this person is an inability to be able to speak nicely and so on and so forth. So his adam. This is a different. A person is very difficult for him to make friends. Mahmed the dice of Bagunas because he has some really bad traits. Myrecha the Lish the Rebisha, this person instead, he speaks a lot of Lashon Hara, who Baal Lashon Hara. Chashiv Garme Chachim Bakol Ovado, he considers himself to be a wise man, a wise man in everything he does. Who Chashiv is Ansbach of Hacha Bakol Mazach of Enokain, he considers that himself to be such a bright guy. He has all the answers and he knows what to do, how to fix things up. But that's not true. He hates who all those who learn Torah. He hates those people. There's another sign for this person. Because with the left arm, now, this interesting idea, all of these things he's taking about the different uh, lines that he has in his forehead and uh, different his attitudes and, and how he's left-handed and all these different things are all a part of a picture. 
Now he comes of Arba. So he says, let me draw a small. He says on his left arm, there is a Rishimo Ukamo. There's a black blemish there. Bizroa small yeshlo rishimo. So he used the word rishimo again, which means like a line. Shkarda, which is black, ayin kasin, but it's like um, like a spot. Va'arbechabes arin z'irin ba. And inside of it, you will see that there are four small hairs. Vadalad z'aros katanos yesh ba'os of rishimo. So in this spot, which he's calling a rishimo, he says there are four hairs. Usrin ravavim betalin be'zumakin. And then there are two more that are big ones that are hanging down from that same place. They they're red. that are hanging down from this because all of this is showing us and teaching us about the fact that this man is overcome by dinim. His many din dinim. that this is a person with big time flaws for call massive mukhufahim and everything that he does they turn out to be backwards they're undone now let's look at there's one more we'll look at number hey ofen hey he says asari shi'ihi vitala be ihu love sumak love ukam so let's talk about let's we're looking at a man now he says misha sar rosho hu khalak vidak so this is smooth. His hair is smooth, but but very fine, and it's hanging down. It's not red. And it's not black. But it's somewhere in between red and black. So this shows us about a man. This shows you that the person is not always to the one side or the other side, but in the middle. Mitzchah delay love rav love zair. He has a normal sounds like a normal forehead. It's not big. It's not small. A message should have been a good of a low cotton. It's not big and it's not small. Dog kind of bain as samach bain as sadi. So once again, this person is somewhere in the in the realm between sa uh, the samach, which refers to the Ferris, and the tzadi sofit, which refers to yourself. Zer omed bain os samach shabit the Ferris. The bain old sade should be yourself. Kalilin ba'oz zayin. Now all of that v'hu kalu ba'oz zayin, and it also brings in the concept of the oz zayin, which I think before he says refers to chesed. Shebegar the zayin that comes from the gar from the from the chabad, from the from the rosh. In other words, the connected there. Metzach halaka a melchas a halaka sa'ara. So the the excuse me. Whoo. So it comes from the head in the way that the hairs are apportioned. But oh, not, not just that. Simon Yesh the Adam said there's another sign for this person. Ki Chad Sirtusa Rav Bemitzchis the Ozlo Bufusa Bufusi of the Sitradon, the Sitradon. Yesh Sirtut, there is also another line or wrinkle. So it goes across the the entire length of the breadth of the of the forehead. So he says in its thickness and its spread. Now what does he mean there? I don't know. And it goes from one side of the forehead to the other side of the forehead. Then he says a komo kain yesh both of the jesh a lo bemitzcho shnei sir tuti macherim b'vachava in the rishum and kolkach but they're not deeply impressed into the forehead like thick lines on the forehead. The ha lo kaimim b'sitra da the sitra da kahai. So he says ki einim oivrim b'tzadzeh the tzadzeh is sir tut gadol. It's not the same thing as having one long line. Behold, Arba Kmitim Ziirim Kaimim Bain Train Kritzim Al Resha Duhutam Laela. Now, all of this is a little bit complicated to know them all, but I imagine if you had examples, you might be able to understand this. Dalekamatim, so there are, are two wrinkles, Katanim, that are small, Nimsoim Bain Shte Gavos Enav between the two eyebrows. 
al rosh chutmo, and they go down into the head of the, you know, where the where the nose begins, the malo tachz underneath a person's forehead. Kol ela simani morim. So all of these signs show ki do ihu mare dechedba zuha ish hu bal simcha. This is a person who is always happy. Loves people. Mabakabal is called the Ada Beseva Panem Yafos. I call this uh, in astrology, I think it's a Libra. Person who just likes people. Mitzad Bina. It's this Libra from the side of Bina. Chachim Bekiach. Ibuchu Chacham Bekiach. Mitzad Chachma. So from the, he says, from the Bina, this person likes people. And from Chachma, he's, he, he, uh, he, he's alert and he knows what's going on. Vatran Bemamone. Who vatram b'monu mitzad chesed? So he gives. He's a giver. This is a person who's a giver. B'kol mad yishtadl the minder ihu chachan. B'kol mash and yishtadl the das who mischachim. So everything that he works hard to understand, he gains the wisdom from it, and he tries to learn. The fum shata rogos of the fum shata nach rogze. This person could get angry, but very quickly he gets over it. The visha, the hainu, rock, the fa mem, who koas and miyad baosu shal, who nach mekasa, who misratze, but immediately when he gets angry, he's able to get out, get out of it, get over it. Lo nata devava the almim, he doesn't carry hate in his heart. Who ain't a shomer of sin, the rechem and oilim, he doesn't hate people and carry it around. The zim the tab, the zim the love, hachi kol kach. So sometimes he's really great. This person is really wonderful, but sometimes not so much. Hatam was the reason. But the person is standing in the concept of a balance. That's why I said the concept of Libra for anybody who understands a little bit of, uh, of astrology. Who That's the Libra. Like exactly like the Mita that it's supposed to be. This is Baruch Mutzal, excuse me, Mida Mutzal, which really means balance, like in the middle. This is Baruch Fleischman, and this has been the Tikkun, that is the Shir, for the third day of Parshas Vyisra, which is the day of Tferis.